Hi, I'm Libby and welcome to Libanavia. Today I have the final part of this whole series I've been filming um, from a recent trip to the States. And today I'm just going to share quickly with you some of the grocery items I brought back with me. Um, some people might think this is a bit random, but basically there are certain things I really like to get in the States and some of them you just can't get here. So if I have space left over in my case, I will bring those things home. So I'm just going to show you what I got. Here we go. So the first thing, this is actually now an empty box, but uh, we were in Nashville and if you watched my previous haul, you'll know, uh, or one of the previous hauls, you'll know that. And basically my favourite place there is the Donut Den. If you go to Nashville, you have to go there. And on the last day, just as we were going to the airport, we stopped by and we got six cronuts to take home. And this is the box. They've now finished, so this will go in the bin, but that's what I brought back. And if I could fill a suitcase with those, I would. Um, I got some Chex Mix and some candy corn. So basically I'm gonna, at Halloween, I like mix these, I think I like some other stuff and make a bit of a like trail mix. So that always goes down well. So I got some of those and you don't get them. This is the candy corn mix. So it's like the different ones and the pumpkins. Usually I just get the uh, traditional one, but I picked this one up this time. And that is that. I got a box of Hungry Jack pancake mix. I love this pancake mix. And yeah, so I got some of that to keep in the pantry. I love the American pancake mix. I think it's better than what we get here. I got three boxes of Cinnabons. Um, maybe not the healthiest cereal. I love this cereal. I first had this, I think in 2012, and anytime I find it, I'll buy it. But I really, really struggled to find it. In fact, I had stopped looking for it. And I think it's when I grabbed the pancake mix, I saw this out the corner of my eye. And so that's why I got three boxes. I love it, it's so tasty. If you've not tried the Cinnabon cereal, you need to try it, it's so good. And more shops need to sell it. <laughs> um, I got a few boxes of these, but I kept two for myself. The rest I gave as gifts. These are Goo Goo Clusters, you get three in a box. And this is a candy, it's a Nashville thing. Um, I think they are really old, yeah, since 1912. They're really good, I love them, so I got some of those. They make really nice gifts as well, but I had to keep some for myself. And I have a basket full of different things here. So on this trip, I became obsessed with coffee creamer. We stayed in a couple of hotels where they, at the coffee station, they had like a creamer and I was trying the, like in the UK we do get, and I have it, the like powdery creamer, but in the States you get like the actual cream creamer. And that stuff is amazing, especially the hazelnut one. That's my favorite one. And I just became totally addicted to it. So I wanted to take it home. So in the grocery store, I found the powdered hazelnut version. So I got that one. And then later on, I did find a small bottle of the liquid creamer. So I got that just, you know, I couldn't, the liquid was gonna add a lot of weight to the bag and in case it burst, you know, maybe wasn't the best thing to take. So I just got the small one, um, which this is a refrigerate after opening one. So I will see how I get on with that. But I think that's definitely going to be on the repurchase list next time I go back. I got some onion dip and soup mix, which is totally random, but I've never seen this in the UK. And I do a lot of um, crock pot meals. In fact, I do have a video. So if you are interested in some crock pot meals, do look at my channel below to get that video. And a lot of the recipes I find call for this mix, so I thought I'll just get some. The box is totally bashed, but the packet is okay. And if you did watch my other videos, you'll know that on the trip I was in Ohio for some of the time in the Amish countryside, and the Amish make brilliant like preservatives, spreads, jams, that sort of thing. And one of the ladies we met there told us about this peanut butter spread, which I had seen and I just thought it was peanut butter. But she described it to me as a mix between peanut butter and fluff, like as if they're mixed together. And then the next morning at breakfast, well, we bought it just based on that. And then we tried it the next morning at breakfast and it's delicious. So we got some of that from Yoder's Amish Home, which you can get like a tour in that there. And then there's cute, uh, there's lovely girls um, making cookies and uh, preservatives in the kitchen. So we got a bunch of cookies, which we ate there. And then we took this one home and it survived. So I'm really looking forward to opening that because it's really tasty. So if you ever come across this, definitely try it. And then I have several packets of um, biscuit mix. I love biscuits and I love gravy, so I got gravy mix. And I've made biscuits from scratch um, in the UK, but these packets, like I think they taste really good. And um, so I, and they're just easy to make. It takes like minutes. So I wanted to get some of those just so I can enjoy them at home when we're not in the States. So in fact, our first morning back, we had a packet um, just because we were, Still feeling sad for not being on holiday, but um, we really enjoy them. So I always make sure I have a good stock of those in my pantry. So 
and that's that replenished and that is everything I got on this trip um usually I just it's just whatever space I have left in the case I'll fill up with things um I hope you enjoyed that if you did watch it thank you for watching and have a good day bye